Well, I hope you're excited about this one. I know I am. This is Clean as Confess Their Sids, where we collect the story of said occupation and then laugh at the worst moments of their life. It's always fun. This one's going to be especially fun because you know that cleaners have seen some shit, literally. As well as, don't you think, as a normal human being, when you hear the old Mexican Hello, housekeeping! You always think, oh fuck, she's going to know how I live. Now imagine if you were a bad person. <laughs> Those people exist out there. I'm sure they have some secrets. I don't know because I never see these comments beforehand. We have fun and discover together. So let's start, shall we? Let's go on the mystical voyage of seeing a bunch of, I'm sure, lovely old ladies being like, Oh, no! And as always, here's the friendly Geordie's predictor. Brrr. I think a lot of people are going to be talking about cleaning up shit. Let's find out. Was cleaning a bathroom at a store. I pulled out the garbage bag when I looked inside and I saw a pair of jeans. They were shitting. Here we go. Well, at least it was three sentences in. Normally it's two. I didn't even realize that this is something that is remarkable about doing this series. I did not know how much of the economy revolves around moving human feces. No one saw them enter or leave. I mean, I suppose it's pretty necessary. We don't sell clothes. Someone walked in and either shat themselves and walked out and <laughs> loose. <laughs> okay, prepared with an extra set. <laughs> I don't know which one's worse. They're both such good options, aren't they? Just some, <laughs> someone so unaware in life that they're just going, <laughs> mum, mum. and then the other one, <laughs> just thinking about it pre planned. Easily win. Temperature 25 degrees Celsius. I'm just shitting myself 30%. Gotta be prepared. Gotta be prepared for all occasions. Because the other thing that's a genius about that comment is whoever did it, they're on either one of the ends of the intelligence bell curve. Which one's scarier? Let me know in the comments. I'll keep it short. When I was younger, about 16 or 17, I was hired by a wealthier family to clean their house once every week. What a sick teenager job. That beats fucking mad mix, doesn't it? Typically, the family goes out while I clean their house, but one day I'm going through cleaning their house when I go into the son's bedroom and he's in there wank wanking it out. <laughs> I've never heard someone like it's like some problem they need to solve. <laughs> I suppose it is. I say, my bad man continue. <laughs> that is the best walk in on a wank. Can I just say, you are the most empathetic man on earth. You just know from that that your response wasn't, Mr. Thomas, house cleaning. Oh, dear, smell. Then I close the door and move on to the next one. You, jeez, what a pro. They're not getting that service from the next guy. I continue to be their cleaner for the rest of high school. Holy fuck, I hope you didn't go to the same high school. Then again, you're cleaning that guy's cub stain, so I'm guessing you didn't. Used to work at cleaning festivals. A lot of drugs and alcohol. One year at Oktoberfest, a man got so wasted, he locked himself in the portal loo and couldn't figure out the simple sliding mechanism to open the door. Starts bashing on the walls to try and get out. And the whole thing is bouncing up and down. <laughs> like in a Looney Tunes episode. It inevitably happens. We're all waiting for it. The entire thing topples over with a horrific sloshing sound. <laughs> it's a day's worth of shit piss and vomit. Rolls <laughs> all over the man. Dude, you know what's really sad about that? Steve-O did the same thing, but he's a millionaire because of it. That man isn't. <laughs> Security and I roll up the door to front. Yeah, okay, so that's what happens to him. He gets piece and shit rolled over him and then he gets bashed. This man crawls out of the box like some shit demon from hell. And starts the, the worst walk of shame to be ever witnessed. I had to follow him out with a bag of spew powder for me. <laughs> so you're, you're Gretel to his hands, are you? And the shit dropping off him, and the copious of amounts <laughs> of people that held him in that holy fucking chain reaction. I left him at the gates where I assume nature reclaimed him. Thank you very much for that. Either the comments, like if you agree, best story of all time? 
Fuck, it's getting close to the Bible for my likings. I mean, look, it even has a persecuted man. That should be called a testament number two. Don't want to go into much detail as I value my life. Oh, what a pussy. I worked as the cleanup crew for a motel. I got a housekeeping call for room number 239. Holy fuck, this is a Stephen King novel. I told you not to go in there. Is he even in any Stephen King adaptation? Yeah, 1408. It's uh, not one of his more popular works. <laughs> I thought it was a good movie. You should check it out. Accident Speaking, Speaking of the, the Bible. Bible. Accidentally walked into room 240. Oh, that's not in the movie. You're making this up. And stumbled upon a murder scene. What the fuck? A ton of blood. No body. I could hear the sink slash shout. Holy shit. Left the cart and ran as fast as I could away from the room. Why didn't you try and solve it yourself? Why did you have to get someone else to do it? I thought you were a cleaner. Called the police and got PTO for a month. Easiest rent cycle ever. Uh, okay, well, really shows how difficult your life is if that was the easiest rent cycle that you have to witness a murder and then, well, I'm crippled for life. Still, get some time off, it's not all bad. Used to work for a cleaner that specialised in crime scene cleans. Mike, look, I was expecting as much shit, not as many corpses. Usually for houses that were going on the market, well, I hope to God that the cleaning included a seance. Most were feeling non-eventful but gross. Old people and s**t mostly. Yeah. Pretty run-of-the-mill stuff. Sitting for weeks slash months. How is that uneventful? But the worst... <laughs> Jesus, people just get desensitized to fucking anything, don't they? You'd be an astronaut. Yeah, just going to Mars again. But the worst was what I can only describe as an accidental sexual related death. Or how Lemony Snicket would describe it, a series of unfortunate events. Body was already removed, but the apparatus, think homemade jackhammer slash drill. Homemade was still <laughs> set up and covered in a mixture of blood and feces. As was the bed, cupboards, and sprayed up the wall roof. We removed all the furniture and should have removed the carpet, but the cellar, house was a rental, didn't want to pay for it, so we had to clean it. What a cheap c We managed to get it to look, <laughs> look fairly clean, but the smell lingered quite badly. The house went back on the market only a week or two later. Yeah, just here it out. <laughs> Used to work as a cleaner for a fairly prestigious hotel in Melbourne. But what is it with so many of you living main character horror novel lives? Yeah, it's rather sporting of you to mind the hotel during the winter months. We don't normally open during them for, well, I think you'll soon discover why. <laughs> One time I walked into a hotel room and almost every surface in the room was covered end to end in jizz and shit. Oh, well, there we go. Finally, I was waiting for the combo. How could it be covered in jizz? What is it, fucking Lexington Steel? I'm not even joking, it looked like a ghost had exploded after eating Taco Bell and ectoplasm had gone every- How? How? He's faking it, he's got that, you know, that sex shop fake jizz. It wasn't even dry either, it was per <laughs> it was perfectly fresh! I guess that is a time where you can say, looks like my work here is done. <laughs> it was safe to say, I no longer work as a cleaner. Yeah, well, I hope you became a writer, mate, because look at this sentence here. It looked like a ghost had exploded after eating Taco Bell and ectoplasm had gone everywhere. When it beat Stephen King, I would put it up there with Captain Underpants. Years ago, I worked as a housekeeper for a hotel in Newcastle. They have housekeepers? When they were showing me the cleaning routine, they firmly insisted that I check the kettle in every room. I asked why that was so important. So it fucking works. Well, you don't ask stupid questions. And they told me that one day, some guests had checked into a room and discovered that one of the previous guests had taken a shit in the kettle. Well, I guess that'd stop it from working. It later dawned on me, those poor people probably didn't discover it until after boiling the kettle. Well, that just dawned on me as well. If everyone so far with all of these shits all over the hotel stories have failed to mention that these hotels didn't have toilets or Everyone in Newcastle likes their tea really black. Because black water is the plumbing phrase for water you can't recycle. 
So there we go, that's fun. Found a literal dead pig next to skeletal child remains. Oh, is this in another haunted hotel? This is just another fucking witch conjuring. And what seemed to be a Playgirl magazine collection in the basement of a hoarder's house that was foreclosed by the bank. God, this is amazing. It really has occurred to me with how long all of these cleaning stories are. You are Jack Nicholson in The Shining. Like you are aspiring writers that are just like, I need a job where I can keep my mind clean, right? So you're just writing out these long essays and they're really good stories as well. And you write them really descriptively, but you have to say, that's the guy that should be writing this Ryan Gosling without the need to be famous, stoic man walking in being like, dead pig, dead baby, playboy. I'll take the Playboy. You used to work as a cleaner at a cinema. Ooh, this one's gonna be good because I used to know cleaners at cinemas and they had stories. While walking to my next cinema, I got stopped by a man who seemed vaguely wet. Okay, was the cinema under construction? And just sat in a room without a roof being like, well, 4D cinema's getting better. I'm really glad I watched Avatar Way of Water in here. See, look at the effort I go for you people. I think I deserve a like and a sub just on this. And then very discreetly said, hey, I don't want to bother you and I'm very sorry, but could you please put a out of order sign on the men's hand dryer? Cause I'm currently covered in piss. How do you say that? As just like a, yeah, do you guys have any of those Mars pods here? But it's just like a request. This was when I realized that this man's dampness was because someone had pissed in the hand dryer. I didn't know you could do that. Friendly Geordies presents YouTube Prankathon, which when old mate used it, he got sprayed with a fountain of piss. Look, I hope someone at least filmed that and got 10 million views. Just being some little shit peering behind the corner being like, <laughs> Yeah! Also, I've got eight! I tried to ask if he wanted a complimentary ticket or anything for the horrible experience. God, you people are salt of the earth, aren't you? Every one of you are so nice. <laughs> just trying to make these people feel really good about themselves in their darkest hour. But he just meekly said no. And went back to his movie! I think about his calm demeanor to this day. Yeah, I'm gonna think about that for the rest of my life as well. How can you just walk back into the film? I hope at the very least it was some blockbuster and there was some snarky critic that at least got to write in his review. I was going to write that I'd rather be pissed on than see another superhero film. However, a man drenched in piss did walk into the cinema and I thought, no, this is slightly better. Two stars. Well, I gotta say, I think that that's probably a good one to ask about next. Cinema workers, confess your sins. You must have seen some things in there. Like, really, I'd imagine that a lot of the time, the actual movie is the audience. So, Jesus Christ, don't I sound like a fucking second year media student? Uh, make sure that you write those in the pinned comment at the top. If you ever worked at Hoyt's or Bloody, whatever it turned into when it just became like mega cinemas and oh, it's still not making money. Go and <laughs> write those in the comments. I'm sure you've got some doozies. I'll see you next time. Make sure you like and subscribe because this ongoing series is, I mean, anyone could do it, but we came up with the first two, to the best of my knowledge. I haven't really researched it. <laughs>